Hi, I'm Chad from Groff Family Projects and today's project I'm going to refurbish this old HP computer right here. I'm going to install a form of Linux on it to make it useful for uh, my cousin. Alright, well stay tuned. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is plug in a flash drive into the computer. Okay, got the flash drive plugged in. Then I am going to, I've already downloaded the Linux distrib distro I want to use. We'll run a program called Startup Disk Creator. I'm running Linux on this machine already. It's Ubuntu 22.04. There's thousands of different distributions of Linux. I've downloaded quite a few trying to trying them out. I am currently wanting to put Ubuntu Studio on that other computer. I'm going to click make startup disk. It's telling me it's going to wipe everything out. Uh, tell it yes. Put my password in. It's writing the disk image. Now, if you're currently running a Windows machine, you can run a program called Rufus. It will make a disk image on a flash drive also. I've done that before. Now the Ubuntu Studio I am putting on this computer, it has all the add-ons that you can add on regular Ubuntu. Like video editor, audio editor, just everything else. It takes about 10 minutes to write the disk image. Since this is a big file, it does take a little bit. Alright, when it's done, I'll come back. Alright, this thing says it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and click to OK. Come over here. Go down. Click on it. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to eject it. And it told me it's Oops. Alright. Yeah, Linux has its uh, advantages. You don't have to install it on your computer. It will actually boot up from a flash drive. You can install it on a flash drive. So you can take your operating system anywhere work on older computers and it do all sorts of stuff where Windows won't run anymore let's say if you've got an old computer has got XP in it you could put Linux in it and make it useful again bring new life back to it instead of buying a new computer alright well let's go ahead and install this on this other machine and see what happens okay I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, flash drive into the computer I'm going to turn it on. Now you're going to want to boot from the boot menu. So when the screen comes up, it'll tell you what you can hit. This one's hit escape for the boot menu. Some computers it's F12, but it just varies on the computer. And we are going to want. All right, we want to run, boot up from the SanDisk Cruiser Glide. That gives me a choice. We can install it 
or we could just run it. We are going to install it. And in most cases, you actually have an option to set it up alongside with Windows. So you could dual boot, either boot into the Linux or you could boot into your Windows. Claire, you're gonna see me in the camera and the glare from behind me. It's all right. I'm still new at this, so just bear with me. I've personally been running Linux for about six or seven years now, and I don't have any issues out of it. Okay, we are going to go ahead and hit the install button. Oh, it's wanting us to connect to the internet. All right. Let's go ahead and connect. Never seen that before, that's kind of weird. Okay, it's asking me where, where I'm at, so typical install stuff. And we are in America. Let's see. Let's go down to Chicago, I guess, in our time zone. Next. English keyboard. Next. Okay, so right here gives an option. We can install alongside another operating system that's currently on the computer, or we can replace it, erase to disk, and just go completely, which that's what we're going to do. It's detecting this machine had Windows 10 in it, though, but I'm not going to keep that. So we're going to we're going to go erase disk. It's going to put the whole thing to Ubuntu. Okay, it's asking for a name, which I'm going to go ahead and put my name, but this machine's not going to be for me. I'll change it when I get over there.
Okay, and we're going to hit install. Install now. Ask you for your password a lot, just in case somebody hacks into your computer or tries to get into it. So it has a lot of protection right there with passwords. Audio programs. Video programs. Yeah, this particular flavor of a uh, Linux has a lot of different options. If you have an older machine that's uh, kind of picky, there's, which I just did, got done doing one, it took me five different tries to find one that would run on it and I finally found one. You got all sorts of different options available for Linux. All you have to do is just Google it and it will pull up and they're there. They're free, they're open source. Easy to try, free to try. Alright, I'll get back with you guys when it's over. Okay, it's all finished. It says restart now. We'll hit done. Takes a minute to boot up, just like any other computer. Ain't no different. Now this is totally customizable. Like I said, this computer, I'm going to give it to my cousin, so we're going to change it over there. Uh oh. all the different Linux distributions out there you got different desktop layouts and everything else I personally like Ubuntu's layout this one's just a little bit different which is not gonna be bad to learn most people don't know it though but the Android operating systems in most smartphones originated from Linux Ask him for the password for the internet. I have one of the USB dongles plugged into the computer. That way it gets Wi Fi to the system. And all that hard, you got your bars up here if you want to go online. You got your Firefox web browser. It's never been operated before. I'm going to go ahead and skip all this. 
if you want to use Chrome or Chromium, you can install that from the App Store. And like just starting off right here with Firefox, you got your Facebook, you got YouTube, you got Reddit for your news and stuff, Amazon, it's all right there. Let's see. Studio controls. I'm not familiar with this one, so I'm still learning it. That's you got your software center, so you want to look up under applications. Yeah, all sorts of different ones available. Alright guys, well this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll try to get a video out there about once a month, once a week, sometimes more if I can. Alright, well I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.